Hello and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and in today's video I'll be continuing this bullet journal. So next up is March and as usual if you would like to see the previous videos there's a playlist over here. This thing is falling to bits. Now I know I've been uploading a lot of videos about this bullet journal and I haven't done props uh, in a while but I do mean to return to props. What? I do mean to return to props. In fact, I do, do have some things in mind. Uh, some of these suggestions are also from the comments because I do read the comments and if you would like to see me make a prop, just leave it as a suggestion below. Oh, these, uh, those are cards because it's Thursday and uh, it's my birthday and I'm still doing content because I don't stop because I love doing this. I do, yeah, I do. Cause I do, I do, I do Yeah, all the movies should know this song And then there's the other one Say I do I do, I do, I do, I do, I do <laughs> This is derailing as usual So, you know, let's start As usual, I've sketched out the things I want to do in this bullet journal. I think these steps are quite straightforward, so I don't see how there should be a lot of commentary in this video. Okay, so there is some commentary, sorry. But I'll keep it to a minimum, because sometimes it can be quite annoying hearing me going on and on and on and about what's going on. Shut up, David. Shut up. Sketching. Uh, there are various ways I use to create sketches. Here I used references, but drew everything by hand ish. The grid system works quite good as well. I used the ready-made bullet on the journal as a guide. And if you're feeling very lazy, you can always trace an image directly from your phone. I designed the opening pages and monthly spread of March to have a Marvel theme, because the word March can be designed on the word Marvel. For the weekly spreads, I like to write down quotes from different phantoms and coordinate the colors of the week to the image drawn next to the quote.
I have to face the fact that I'm shit at using old style calligraphy pens. I mean, this one is okay ish, but if we go further back, well, you saw this mess. Now, the one I did last month was actually quite good, but I don't know what happened here. There's thick lines and there was a huge blob of ink over there. I think I used too much water with the ink. So yeah, these aren't that good, but I learned something really cool from TikTok. So I use erasable pens to write my appointments and stuff. The uh, erasable pens get erased through friction and that friction creates heat. So in reality, instead of rubbing the end of this on the paper and maybe even damaging the paper, I can just use fire and look at this. Isn't that awesome? I can just erase stuff with heat. Now, of course, if I have something on the back, I can't use this method because it would just erase everything that's on the back as well. And then I can just write the exam under the new date. So now let's move on to March. So I started with this Marvel theme and in comics, there is this style where they use black circles and then the further away you go, the smaller the circles get. And on these, I wrote all the dates of March. So I wrote with white on black. Then over here, I have some Marvel characters and some logos. I don't have stuff planned for March, so this will be quite blank for now. But what you do here is you first go back to the yearly spread and you find March. If you have something that's written over here, then you add it over here as well. These are usually things that are important. And then of course you go and find the specific date and write the event over here as well under the correct time. The time is split into AM and PM and the PM are a bit darker in all weekly spreads. Now, of course, as I said before, these correspond to Wally and the quote is I don't want to survive. I want to live, which is said by Captain B. Mick Crea he's the fat one, he's the fat captain in Wally. -E. Then the second week there's a Doctor Who quote, which is why the week is blue. And there's this really lovely quote, which is said by Peter Capaldi's doctor, and it is Never be cruel, never be cowardly. Hate is always foolish. Love is always wise. Always try to be nice, but never fail to be kind. Laugh hard, run fast. Be kind. And that is, in my opinion, one of the best quotes from the TV show. Then the third week, we have a mixture of like silver and gold, I think. And there is this quote which is said by Galadriel from The Lord of the Rings, and that is Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Which she says to Frodo in Lothlorien. Then the fourth week, we have these colors because they correspond to Captain Jack's compass. And the quote is No treasure in silver and gold Which Captain Jack says to Will Turner And now this is like a half week But since there is no Thursday for March I just put another quote over here And it is Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times If one only remembers to turn on the light Which is said by Albus Dumbledore in Harry Potter And there is the other one which is Albus Dumbledore's wand I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with what you think I should do next. And if you haven't subscribed already, here is the subscribe button and these are some more videos from my channel. And until next time, this is my bullet journal, I'm David and this is The Craft Mansion.